达摩二入四行关，达摩二入四行关。Translated by the Shanghai Translation Committee, May 2008. From the Chinese Blood, the first patriarch Bodhidharma, 6th century. Annotations, May 2008. Prior English translations by Red Pine and Andy Ferguson. Were used as references. The Chantai Translation Committee comprises of Dharma masters and lay disciples and convenes regularly to view or download other sutra translations by CTTC. Visit Dharma Gen S. On http: 冒号双斜线 sunnyvale 点 san 点 org. Comments and suggestions may be sent to translation at citizen 点 org. Namo fundamental teacher Shaikh Yuni Buddha. 南无本师释迦牟尼佛 Sutra opening gatha. 开经记 ，The Dharma, infinitely profound and subtle, is rarely encountered even in a million cultures. Now we are able to hear, study, and follow it. May we fully realize the Tathagata as true meaning. 无上甚深微妙法。百千万劫难遭遇，我今见闻的受持，愿解如来真实意。The essence of Mahayana practice. 一 The essence of F Mahayana practice. By Master Bodhidharma. Complete title. Great Master Bodhidharma, as essential discourse on entering the Mahayana path by principle and by practice. To enter the Great Way, there are many paths, but essentially they are of two means: by principle and by practice. Entering the way by principle means to awaken to the truth through the doctrine with a deep faith that all sentient beings have the same true nature, obscured by the fleeting dust of delusions. This nature cannot manifest itself. If one can relinquish the false and turn to the true, fix the mind in whole meditation, understand that there are neither self nor others, that mortals and saints are equal and one. Abiding this way without wavering, clinging not even to the scriptures. Then one is implicitly in accord with the principle. Being not discriminative, still and empty of effort is to enter by principle. Entering by practice means following four practices that encompass all other practices. They are accepting, adversity, adapting to conditions, seeking nothing, and acting in accordance with the Dharma. What is the practice of accepting adversity? When suffering, a practitioner of the way should reflect for. Innumerable cultures, I have pursued the trivial instead of the essential, drifted through all spheres of existence, created much animosity and hatred, malign and hard. 
the essence of Mahayana practice. Er. Others endlessly. Even though now I have done no wrong, I am reaping the karmic consequences of past transgressions. It is something that neither the heavens nor other people can impose upon me. Therefore I should accept it willingly, without any resentment or objection. The Sutra says, Face hardships without distress. How? With thorough insight. With this understanding in mind, you are in accord with the principle advancing on the way through the experience of adversity. This is called the practice of accepting adversity. Second is the practice of adapting to conditions. Sentient beings are without a self, being steered by karmic conditions. Suffering and joy are experienced together as a result of causes and conditions. Any reward, blessing or honor is a consequence of past causes, nothing remains. When the necessary conditions are exhausted, so what is there to be joyful about? Knowing that success and failure depend on conditions, the mind remains unmoved by the wind of joy, experiencing neither gain nor loss. This is to be in harmony with the way. Therefore it is called the practice of adapting to conditions. Third, to seek nothing. Ordinary people, in their perpetual ignorance, crave and form attachments to everything, everywhere. This is called seeking. The wise are awakened to the truth and choose reason over convention, even though their forms follow the law of causality, their minds are at peace and empty of effort, since all existence is empty, there is nothing to be desired, blessing and Darkness always follow each other. This long soul journey, the essence of Mahayana practice. San. The triple realm is like living in a burning house. To have a body is to suffer. How can one attain peace? Those who Understand this renounce all mundane existence, cease desires, and stop seeking. The Sutra says, to seek is to suffer, to seek nothing is bliss. It follows that to seek nothing is to truly follow the way. This is the practice of seeking nothing. Fourth, to act in accordance with the Dharma, the principle of intrinsic purity is the Dharma. By this principle, all forms and characteristics are empty, without defilement, and attachment, without self or others. The Sutra says, in the Dharma there are no sentient beings, because it is free of the impurities of sentient beings. 
In the Dharma there is no self, because it is free of the impurities of self. When the wise believe in and understand this principle, they should also act in accordance with the Dharma. There is no parsimony in the Dharma, so practice the giving of body, life, and possessions without any reservation. Understand and achieve triple emptiness with no reliance and no attachment. One liberates others without becoming attached to form, thus removing impurities. This benefits oneself, benefits others, and also glorifies the body path. Dana is perfected this way, so are the other five Patamitas. In order to relinquish illusions, one practices these six perfections, yet nothing is practiced. This is to act in accordance with the Dharma, the essence of Mahayana practice. The essence of Mahayana practice and meditations. Wu. The essence of F Mahayana e practice. By Master Bodhidharma er. Complete title: Great Master Bodhidharma. As essential discourse on entering the Mahayana path by principle and by practice. Putidamodashiripendachandudalsihangwan to enter the great way that there are many paths, but essentially they are of two means si, by principle and by practice. Entering the way by principle means to awaken to the truth through the doctrine built with a deep faith qi Sentient beings but have the same true nature jiu. Obscured by the fleeting dust of delusions shi, this nature cannot manifest itself. Fu ru dao duo tu, yao er yan zhi, bu chu er zhou, yi shi li ru. Er shi xing ru. Li ru zhe, wei ji jiao wu zong. 身性含身同一真性,但为课程妄想所负,不能显了。The essence of Mahayana practice and meditations. 六. E Mahayana Da Chen Da Chen Chen Da Da Chen. The Great Maha Vehicle Yona. It is the Bodhisattva. Path which leads to Buddhahood. This involves devotion to the liberation of all beings and the perfection of wisdom. Er Bodhidharma Puti Da Mo Da Shi Puti Da Mo Da Shi Shi Puti Da Mo Da Puti Da Mo Da Shi. The Er Shivati H. Zen Chen, Patriarch of India. Who founded the Zen school of Buddhism in China, and therefore is the first Zen patriarch of China. This current text is one of the very few records we have of his teaching. Zen entered the Great Way. Great Way refers to the Mahayana past, the has to become a Buddha and enlighten countless others. 2. 
Enter the great way is to truly understand what it means to become a Buddha. 四 to means even though there are many methods of Buddhist practice, they all use one of two means, either by gaining a direct understanding of the highest truth by principle or by using various practices that lead to the final understanding of the highest truth by practice. Sometimes the two means are combined by principle. This is the quintessential Zen practice, the gateless gate. The method of directly seeing one as nature and becoming a Buddha. Liu Dao Chui. Here it refers to the canon of Buddhist teaching, the Dharma. The scriptures and their commentaries and the philosophy. Qi deep faith. Faith based on correct understanding of the Dharma, faith based on unbiased reasoning and experiences as opposed to faith based on superstitions or unfounded beliefs. Ba sentient beings. All living beings with sentience, beings that have Awareness. They include devas, gods or heavenly beings, Tianren. Asuras, Demi, gods, Asholuo, human beings, animals, hungry ghosts. And hell beings. Unlike Buddhas and Bodhisattvas, they are all trapped in samsara but have the potential to become Buddhas. 九 Zen True Nature Though the appearances of sentient beings are different due to their past karma, their sentience, which is variously referred to as mind, consciousness, awareness, or Buddha. Nature is fundamentally equal in nature. To be enlightened is to directly experience this fact. She fleeting the stop delusions. The original mind is like a mirror covered with the dust of delusions, therefore its reflections of reality are unclear and distorted. What we take as our body and mind, form, feeling, conception, volition, and consciousness are the fleeting dust which is impermanent and defiling, obscuring our true nature. Ignorance, greed, anger, pride, jealousy, and other afflictions are also the fleeting dust of delusions. The essence of Mahayana practice annotations. Qi. If one can relinquish the false and turn to the true, fix the mind in woe meditation shi, understand that there are Neither self nor others shi er, that mortals and saints shi san are equal. And one, abiding this way shi si without wavering, clinging, not even to the scriptures shi wu, then one is implicitly in accord shi liu with the principle. Being non discriminative shi qi, Still, 18 and empty of effort, 19 is to enter by principle.
Entering by practice means following four practices or shibat. Encompass all other practices. They are accepting. Adversity, adapting to conditions, seeking nothing, and acting in accordance with the Dharma. 若也舍忘归真，凝住闭关，无自无他，凡圣等一，坚住不移，更不随文教，此即于理明。夫无有分别，既然无畏，明知理入，行入未四行，其余诸行，悉入此中。何等四耶？一报冤情，二随缘行，三摩所求行，四称法行。The essence of Mahayana practice and meditations. 八十一 Wo meditation. Wo represents firmness, resolve, immovability, and stability. Fix the mind in wall meditation means to practice meditation so that the mind is unaffected by all afflictions and distractions, and to gain clear vision to penetrate illusions. She earned neither self nor others. The separation or boundary between oneself. And others, or the external world, is illusion. She said, "Mortals and saints." Mortals refers to ordinary beings, beings subject to rebirth in samsara, world with suffering. Saints refers to arhats. Bodhisattvas and Buddhas who have attained liberation are pure in mind and action and have transcended death. 十四 abiding this way, to be mindful of this principle without being affected by doubt or afflictions. 十五 cling not even to the scriptures. Scriptures are important as they provide guidance to enlightenment, but they can be misinterpreted or taken too literally. Also, to study the mass philosophy without practice will not lead to true understanding. 十六 implicitly in accord. Even though one may not fully understand the principle yet, by being mindful of this teaching and acting accordingly, one is in harmony with the way, leading oneself eventually to enlightenment. Shiji na discriminative. To be in a state of mind free from all sources of discrimination and ultimately attaining a mind of non-duality, even good distinctions are dualistic notions that are undesirable in the realm of absolute truth. Shiva still. Stillness means free from disturbances. An unenlightened mind is constantly disturbed by greed, anger, selfish interests, etc., and mind of absolute stillness is nirvana. 十九 empty of effort, 无畏，无畏，无畏，畏无，无畏。Free from contrived effort, free from clinging and attachments, unconditioned, absolute being, wu wei.
also means inner peace obtained by having no desires. Also, translated as unconditioned dharma where appropriate. 24 practices. A lot are more tangible Buddhist practices are essentially one or a combination of the following four practices. Accepting adversity, adapting to conditions, seeking nothing, and acting in accordance with the Dharma. The essence of Mahayana practice annotations. 九. What is the practice of accepting adversity? When suffering, a practitioner of the way should reflect, for innumerable kalpas ershi, I have pursued the trivial instead of the essential ershi er, drifted through all spheres of existence ershi san. Created much animosity and hatred, malign and harmed urges others endlessly. Even though now I have done no wrong, I am reaping the karmic consequences urges of past transgressions urges now. It is something that neither the heavens urges she nor other people can impose upon me. Therefore I should accept it willingly, without any resentment or objection. The Sutra says, face hardships without distress. How? With thorough insight, 28. With this understanding in mind, you are in accord with the principle, advancing on the way through the experience of adversity. This is called the practice of accepting adversity. Yo 此心生时,与理相应,体约尽。道。故说言报约行。The essence of Mahayana practice annotations. 十。二十一考吧。A kalpa is a very long period of time. Formerly, a large kalpa is a cycle of the universe, which consists of four stages, birth of the universe or a Buddha world, stability, disintegration, and void. The universe is then recreated and destroyed over and over again by our collective karma. Innumerable kalpas refers to the countless cycles through lifetimes in the past. 22 trivial xiexian essential. Without knowing the true nature of life and the self, people are in endless pursuits that are ultimately of no consequences. We should consider what is meaningful in our life, and whether we are working on it or pursuing trivial matters instead. 
二十三 spheres of existence. A sentient being can take rebirth in any one of the six spheres. 斜线 planes of existence in the triple realm. As a deva, a celestial being, an asura, powerful like a deva, but more aggressive and jealous, a human being, an animal, a hungry ghost, or a being in hell, all depending on one as karma, action, or deeds. 二十四 animosity, heart. Due to the ignorance of the way we intentionally or unintentionally cause much harm to others in this lifetime and each lifetime past, applying the principle of causality, we really have no grounds to feel resentment for the suffering we now face. 二十五 karmic consequence. Karma means action which includes physical, verbal, and mental activities. By the law of causality, each action has its corresponding consequences. Action that benefits others brings blessings and happiness. Action that harms others brings suffering. We are subject to the consequences of our own karma. 二十六 transgression. An act against the natural law. An act that harms others. 二十七 heavens. Heavenly beings. In Buddhism, there are devas or celestial beings who reside in different levels of heavens. They are born with more powers and blessings than human beings due to superior deeds in their past. 二十八 thorough insight. People resent their fate because they lack understanding of causality and the teaching presented here. With the insight of accepting adversity, one can face hardships without distress and turn suffering into spiritual progress. The essence of Mahayana practice and meditations. 十一 Second is the practice of adapting to conditions. 二十九 Sentient beings are without a self. 三十 Being steered by karmic conditions. Suffering and joy, 三十一 are experienced together as a result of causes and conditions. Any reward, blessing, or honor, 三十二 is a consequence of past causes. Nothing remains when the necessary conditions are exhausted. So what is? There to be joyful about, knowing that success and failure depend on conditions. The mind remains unmoved by the wind of joy, experiencing neither gain nor loss. 三十三 This is to be in harmony with the way. Therefore, it is called the. Practice of adapting to conditions. 二随缘行者，众生无我，并愿业所转，苦乐，其受皆从缘生。若得胜报、荣誉等事，是我过去宿因所感，今方得知，缘尽还无何喜，只有。
，得失从缘，心无增减，起风不动，明顺于道。是故说言随缘行。The essence of Mahayana practice annotations. 十二二十九 Adapting to conditions. All things arise from certain causes and conditions, and will cease to exist when the conditions fall apart. This is the teaching of conditional arising, also called dependent origination. The enlightened and the wise understand and adapt to conditions, whereas the ignorant and foolish try to get results without the right conditions or are unaware of the changing. Conditions, thereby bringing misery and disappointment unto themselves. 三十 without a self. The self refers to an intrinsic, independent identity, which we perceive in sentient beings and things. In a person, it is. The false self or ego or inner identity that one takes for granted in objects, it is the intrinsic value or character we associate it with. This self is a delusion because it is dependent on changing conditions. 三十一 suffering and joy. Suffering is a result of harmful actions, karma, and joy is a result of beneficial actions. Most people experience a mixture of suffering and joy in their lives because they have created both good and bad karma in the past. 三十二 reward 斜线 blessing 斜线 honor result of good karma. Even though they are favored over suffering, they are also impermanent. To not realize this can lead to suffering. 三十三 neither gain nor loss. In practice. The mind is in equanimity, neither elated nor depressed. In principle, nothing is gained and nothing is lost. The essence of Mahayana practice and patience. 十三 Third, to seek nothing. Ordinary people, in their perpetual Ignorance, crave and form attachment. 三十四 to everything, everywhere. This is called seeking. The wise are awakened to the truth and choose reason over convention. 三十五 even though their forms follow the law of causality. 三十六 their minds are at Peace and empty of effort. Since all existence is empty, 三十七 there is nothing to be desired. Blessing and darkness, 三十八 always follow each other. This long sojourn, 三十九 turn the triple. Realm 四十 is like living in a burning house, 四十一 To have a body is to suffer. 四十二 How can one attain peace? Those who understand this renounce all mundane existence. 四十三 Cease desires and stop seeking. 四十四 The sutra says, "To seek is to suffer. To seek nothing is bliss." 
it follows that to seek nothing is to truly follow the way. This is the practice of seeking nothing. 三摩所求行者，世人常迷，处处贪者，明知为求。智者悟真，理将俗反，安心无畏，行随运转，万有。司空魔所愿乐，功德黑暗常相随逐，三界九居犹如火宅，有生皆苦，谁得而安？乐达此处，故舍诸有，只想无求。今曰有求皆苦，无求即乐，判之无求，真谓道恒。故言魔所求行 ，Tilda， 三十四 attachments，to crave or desire anything 